Hey there, and welcome to EdTech Hustle. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can take an image and create a speed painting video like this one in Canva. Let's go ahead and get started. So I'm here in Canva, I have a presentation created and what I'd like to do is to take this image and create a speed painting video. Now there's a few different ways to do this. Now a few months ago I showed you how you can use one speed painting app in Canva called Speed Paint. And this works great for me to this day, but some of you in the comments indicated that it didn't work for you. I'm not sure why because I just checked it out and it seems to work for me, but don't worry because I'm going to show you a new speed painting app. So to do that, again, we just have to go over to the side where it says apps. And then from here, you can see the app that we're going to use right now. It is called Speed Painter. Generate AI sketches with Speed Painter. I can either click that to open, or if that's not there by the time you watch the video, you can just do a search for Speed Paint. So after I search, this is the app that we're going to use. It's called Speed Painter. You'll notice the old app is right over here if you want to check out Speed Painting. But I'm going to open Speed Painter. And then from here, you just have to take the photo that you want to create that speed painting video of and upload it. You can see that there's a number of accepted file formats right here on the screen. So let me go ahead and upload that photo. And then here are the options that you have. You can set the duration for this sketch. I'll say five seconds. Okay. And you have the option to either keep it black and white or to fill in color. I'm going to leave that in color. And then at the end, you can choose how long you want that hand that's going to be painting, how long you want them to add color to your design. I'll just say three seconds. We'll leave that the way it is. You have the option to turn the hand sketching or the hand painting effect on or off. In this case, I'm going to leave it the way it is and select generate. And in just a few moments, I should have a preview of the speed paint video. Looks like it's ready to preview your speed painting video. Just hover your mouse over the window and you can get an idea of what that will look like. If it looks good, just go ahead and click this button that says add to design. There it is, my painting has been added to the design. It looks like it automatically is starting for me. From here, I wanna make this a little bit bigger. Drag this the full length of this particular slide. And look, right there, I have a painting of that image that I can use for a presentation or a video. Now let's say I watch this and I think, you know, the color is cool, but maybe I don't really want to have this color. I just wanna keep it in black and white. No problem, what I'm going to do is go to my next page and I'm going to select go back. And this time I'm just going to turn off that ability to fill with color. And you know, why not? I'll turn off that hand painting sketch effect. And this time it's just going to be about a five second video in black and white. Okay, here it is. It's going to look very similar to the last one. The main difference is at the end, you're not going to see that hand filling it in color. In fact, you're not even going to see that hand sketch effect because I turned that off. So now, if I just go over here and go back here, let me go ahead and play it. There we go. You can see that now everything is sketched without the hand obstructing the view. So it's that simple. The app is called Speed Painter. You can find it in Canva apps. It's trending right now, but if it's not trending, just go ahead and do a search for Speed Paint, and this should be one of the first apps that comes up. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have a question, go ahead and leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to get back to you. So thanks again and have a great day.